Retidium Point recently became home to the newest addition in Anderson's effort for better threat readiness. Called the Joint Threat Emitter, these Navy and Air Force radar systems give aircraft flying from Anderson an opportunity to test their defense procedures. The radars provide a ground threat warning up to the aircraft to simulate a real-life attack. The radar systems provide uh, uh, an electronic signal to an aircraft. The aircraft, they have a scope that can see a ground threat. Uh, they'll get some type of signature on their scopes or on their gear, and what we're doing is shooting that electronic signal to them so they can recognize they have a ground threat on the ground. This new site is unique to Anderson's usual operations in a couple of ways. First, this is a joint mission, with both the Navy and the Air Force utilizing radars of their own at this site. Also, none of Anderson's active duty airmen work this site. The entire operation falls under the supervision of Active Guard Reserve Airmen from Idaho. We're comprised of six people come here, rotate in and out every two months, and we're from the 266 RANDs in Idaho. That's Idaho Air National Guard. So now our equipment's out here and we're just bringing it back. Being on the edge of a cliff at Retidium Point, this new location provides the joint threat emitter with nearly zero interference from land or air, giving Anderson a far more capable ability to ready its pilots for attack. Reporting from Anderson Air Force Base, I'm Airman First Class Adam Harder.